Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Going to start you out with a great shot here. Perfect example of a lake effect snow squall. This one going over Conneaut Lake. You can kind of see the Barbara J right there. You can see about to the point but you can't see the northern end of the lake or Conneaut Lake Park. So Community Chevrolet Cam just showing you a snow squall in Crawford County. Now look at the color in the bay here. Is this churned up or what? around the Sheraton and the Bicentennial Tower, even some breaks in the clouds as the wind's breaking up the cumulus up there. Kerr's tire corner camera, great live, uh, kind of dramatic weather shots there. Here's the bald eagle of Dewittville, thanks to our weather watcher Jim there. He comes to roost in snowstorms. And take a look at this from Kirk in Venango uh, Township. Yeah, you wanna know where the snow belt is in Erie County? Just go down towards Wattsburg and Quarry, as well as uh, portions of Southern Harbor Creek. Nice snowfall accumulations here. This is a flashback. This is the first day of spring, 1993. That's my buddy, Jim. So if you think you got it bad, this first day of spring, eh, 31 years ago, a little bit heavier lake effect. So you can see this stuff going right across Pima Tuning and right across Conneaut Lake there like you saw on the live cam. So it continues to funnel down, but it's showing signs of kind of the back edge of it or it weakening as it comes across. And so is this model too. We get shots as we go through the night, but it's generally thinning out tomorrow morning. Sunshine is returning. And just how the temperatures started warm at midnight and have gotten colder ever since, tomorrow will be another cold day before we warm up on Friday. And the real warm-up comes early next week. So as you take a look at uh, numbers from the airport, 41 for a high, 29 for the low. Normals are 46 and 29. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the daylight, 12 hours, 11 minutes. We have 0 0.7 inches of snow added today at Erie International. So we are up to 23.7 for the season. Very cold tomorrow, the rain or snow shower Activity increases late on Friday, but it's winter cold tonight. Uh, 31, Doc Tom Miller's Place, Niagara Pier. Dawn in South Harbor Creek, 28. Becky and French Creek at 25. Down south, Fred and Sue, Canadota Lake, 27. So is Paul in Albion. Out east, John and Ludlow at 28. Warren Fire Department at 26. So we've still got gusty winds and those are giving us wind chills between 10 and 20 degrees. So again, we wait for the flip. Lake effect goes away. The cold here underneath the jet stream lifts out. And then the warmth from the west comes back into the area. Tonight, flakes at times along the lakeshore, maybe another fresh coating or so, 21 to 25. South of 90 inland, coating to an inch or so in the snow belts, 16 to 20. And uh, keep in mind, wind chill factors will be about 5 to 15 later tonight. Jamestown, Warren, Tyoneston, in the mountains, another inch or two. Breezy cold and 15 to 18. So tomorrow, we start with clouds and flurries. We do get sun, but it is still cold. Highs on your Thursday, only 28 to 31. Friday, late day rain, 42. Showers end early Saturday. And then we go up. Uh, Sunday looks dry and so does Monday, 43 and 54 respectively. Showers late Tuesday into Wednesday. Those are rain showers with highs in the 50s those days as well.